Okay. Uh, my name is Joseph Domenek. I am a veterinarian and I was chief of the animal health service in FAO in the years 2003 to 2009. So I had a good uh, period of time when the avian influenza crisis came and we could say, see a lot of uh, evolutions in the FAO in the way uh, it was reorganizing itself to respond to this sort of big crisis. So the idea of uh, organizing an historical workshop was excellent because it was the opportunity for key people such as Mark Wayemam, who, who was at the origin of Empress program in the years 94. People like me who were uh, witnessing and accompanying the evolution because of avian influenza and many others, because I'm talking only on animal health side, which is my, my field of interest, was a very good um, idea because it could be an opportunity to talk about the reasons for evolution and the possible weaknesses or positive aspects. So at the conclusion of these discussions, I should say that everybody in the evaluation team have understood how it evolved and why. So the emergence of Empress in the years 94 with the new DG of FAO at that time was an extremely good way of defining the objective of what is the um, con prevention and control of big diseases with the different parts of uh, first uh, surveillance, detection and early response. So the concepts of MPRESS are still valid, still being implemented with these three categories of first surveillance, early detection and warning and early response. And plus the second part of the concept of Empress, which was to make priorities, means that FAO cannot do everything. So the selection will be a focus on the big risks, big diseases, the so-called transboundary animal disease, which means they have the potential to be a regional at least or even worldwide um, uh, crisis. So this is still in place and the avian influenza crisis was a big event who made possible the evolution because the FAO and the DG at that time were committing the body, the institution very, very strongly to address that new risk of a pandemic with the newspaper being full of this possibility to have a new big pandemic like the Spanish influenza at that time. I have to ask you please not to move ahead. Okay. So I continue or I start again? Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. So uh, avian influenza with empress spirit, which didn't change the concepts, were such that it allowed to organize FAO in establishing a new framework called ECTAD, Emergency Center for Transboundary Disease, which was a real deal between TC in the implementation, financial and administrative, administrative part, and AGA on the technical part. And this ECTAD mechanism uh, proved to be extremely, extremely efficient in uh, achieving the results expected by the donors. And it was, uh, in that case, possible to manage a huge program on avian influenza, which was in the area of four, 400 million dollars in four years. It was one of the uh, biggest projects of FAO. So this gave also the opportunity, still with the Empress uh, spirit, gave the opportunity to sign an agreement between OIE, the World uh, Animal Health Organization in Paris, and FAO called GFTADS for global framework for the control of transboundary diseases. And this was uh, improving a lot the collaboration with these two major bodies on the field of animal health, FAO and OIE. And also allowed the signature of another agreement under the umbrella of one health approach between FAO, OIE 
and WHO, which is also bringing the possibility to work together on uh, zoonotic diseases, the big ones, influenza, uh, rabies, and also antimicrobial resistance. So I can say that the Empress spirit and the way FAO is still working under Empress spirit and with an Empress team located in uh, Animal Health Service made possible the organization of the response and it's still valid. So I think that the evaluation of the Empress will take that uh, very, very much uh, in, in their report and uh, now to see if Empress could uh, be a program or an institutional platform or whatever. I don't know. But today the FAO mechanism uh, in place to respond to big risk is there, combining the SO5 objectives and also the regular program division and services. And the implementation of big programs such as the EPT of USID on emerging diseases, working with these uh, uh, ECTAD mechanism, which is very f satisfactory, even if the complexity and sometimes bureaucracy could be a bit simplified to make the things easier. But uh, I think that the workshop was a good opportunity to put people like me and others being uh, from the ancient time, but to show that uh, it's still a valid approach. Ok. <coughs> ok. So my name is Joseph Domenech. I am a veterinarian and I was the chief of the animal service in animal health service in FAO during 2003 to 2009. So uh, exactly the period where the Empress system and FAO response evolved because of the avian influenza crisis. And this is just another question, just my question. Have you ever participated in such an exercise? Yes. How did you find it uh, for Empress, for instance? Well, I have participated to many uh, evaluations, particularly the avian influenza program in 2010, but others as well. And uh, this one, the full evaluation of SO5 and MPRESS, I don't know because we, we are not just part, we are not part of the evaluation team, but the, the principle, the decision to call for such a meeting, so-called historical meeting, was a good idea. And it worked very well. The meeting itself was well organized, a uh, proper person from FAO to, to explain, uh, external experts uh, being uh, part of the history, and uh, good uh, facilitation as well to make sure that we will come to some conclusions. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to say something? No. <laughs> 